Just something to note that if you've got an Oregon power match or a cannon bar, the existing panther nose will not fit. It's too short. Uh, but we have got particular cannon noses, uh, which I'll put a link to in the description. So you can see I put like a little, that little nut there just to stop the whole thing from sinking right down through the bar. And I've, adjust, I've, I've adjusted it in. And on this side, this side I've got it set up so that I've got still got the saw dogs on, but that's maximum that I'm gonna get out of this bar. Newbies is uh, trying to clamp right on the nose, near the nose uh, in order to get max milling width, but it really doesn't work and you're just gonna break the nose. So once uh, now I've offered this up, um, in order to slide the, the, the nose bracket down, I've adjusted the pinion and the stop boss. Get it so that you can get access to all the grubs. You don't need to um, adjust the thrust end, but just get it so that you can access all the grub screws and stuff. And then that black bracket can slide in and out uh, until you get the width right. So I've got the width, width right here on this now. So I just need now to mark up uh, the bar. Put a dab of uh, just water soluble paint on that grub. I've already got the nose in the in the. I've already got the hole in the nose end. If you didn't have a hole in the nose end, then you need a dab on this side as well. And it's very difficult to film one-handed, but you can see all I've done is just offer that up, dropped it on there, and it's made my mark there. So that's where the hole needs. So the, the hole for the nose was already there. Don't be tempted to come up into here. You're gonna impact the nose sprocket. Um, I haven't got a long nose guard, but I want to sort of show where that's, that's supposed to go. So that hole was already there. I've drilled that inside hole there. And then I had to adjust the height slightly again. The height adjust, slide this this way along. And it's all working well. <laughs>